Ugh. And there it is. The cleanest lawn you'll see. Look at those lines. But welcome back. This is it. Oh, let me take these off and fix my hair. Now, we've been talking about discipline, right? And we talked about the good, the bad. We're focusing on the positive at the moment. That means that you dedicate time to do the right thing. How do you do that? For example, you see behind me doing lawn work, doing yard work. Ugh. Especially in the summer, it's hot. No one wants to wake up in the morning like, ooh, I'm gonna go mow the lawn. But if you don't keep up with it, it takes you longer, it like doubles the time because you have to mow, do a couple passes or more. Anyways, you're not here to learn about grass. So let's change the setting. So we're going to continue talking about discipline, right? Recap, we're gonna focus on the verb. So if we go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. As we keep reading, it says, promising benefits in this life and in the life to come. So one of the things that I think is very challenging for us, for everyone, is making sure we take the time to read the Bible and you have to pray. We're learning who Jesus is. We're learning who this Holy Spirit is and what he wants from us. And then when we are we are in prayer, we will hear the Lord. We, he will guide us. He will show us. So I want to show you something. What happens if you don't have any self-control or any discipline in your life? Welcome to my lawn. Look at all the leaves. It looks really nice. That yellow and green. Ooh, You see this area? This is the nice green lawn. As you can see, I water it. I take care of it. I mow it. There is work put into it. Sweat. Maybe a tear here and there when it's really hot. But then you have this section of my yard that goes all the way to the back. You see that tree? We'll go back there soon. But that's the wild side of my yard. Nothing happens back there. Once I get to this side, I stop mowing. There's a lot of wild trees and brushes. There's probably poison ivy and stuff like that. It's crazy back here. Look at this. The reason I'm showing you this, it's because if I don't put any effort or work back here, this place is unusable. My kids can't use it. I can't use it. In order for them to enjoy this backyard, I'm going to have to put some effort. I'm going to have to put some sweat as in I'm going to have to work. You see my neighbor he put up a fence just like this neighbor they didn't want to pay to have this whole section cleared out picture this you don't read your bible you don't pray and you're wondering man i struggle at doing this it's wild right there it's wild in that area of your life he's asking you like hey it's time for you to clear it up do what you can but i will also help you kind of like what timothy was saying it's great it's great that you do these physical things that you eat well that you exercise awesome but there's more benefit if you put a little more effort in your spiritual side, it's a little hot. I just, let's go back inside. <laughs> so we're back. We're back inside. Let's regroup everything. There's this area and we've talked to you guys about it as a youth group. We really need to you know put our A game in, which is reading the word and praying. It's hard. It takes work. That means you're gonna have to put your phone down. You're gonna have to stop doing something you like. Maybe it means you'll have to lose some sleep. It's time to get serious about the Lord. It's time to set some time apart to read the word, read the Bible, set an alarm on your phone or something that will remind you to do it. Yes, it's going to be hard, but I will promise you, the more you do it, the easier it gets, the more comfortable you get. And the best thing of all, the best thing of all, is that you will have a better relationship with the Lord. You'll hear his voice quicker. You'll know what he wants and you'll be in tune with him, right? He'll be talking to you every day. I encourage you and stay tuned. Let me know. Do you like these? Do you like these devotionals? What's your favorite thing about it so far? Write in the comment below. Send us a message through Instagram or Facebook. We want to know. We want your feedback. We want to keep doing this. We love teaching you the word. We love teaching you the basics. So stay tuned for one more video from me and we will continue to dig a little more deeper into the discipline. See ya.